Hello everyone, my name is Marie Domis and welcome to my channel, A Wealth of Good Health. Today I am going to talk about the difference between bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 disorder. Well, before we start to talk about the differences between these two, please subscribe to view more videos in English, French and Creole. Every Sunday new video will be uploaded. Please check them out. And if you, a family member or friend, is struggling with this condition, don't forget to refer them and ask questions. Couple questions will be selected and discussed in the Ask Marie session. Well, Ask away. Um, all type of bipolar disorder usually characterized by episodes of highs and lows. The extreme highs are considered as manic and the lows are considered as hypomanic or depressive episode. People sometimes experience different emotions. Sometimes they may feel excited or energized and other time they may feel as if they are sinking into a profound depression and these feelings can last for weeks or months. With bipolar 1 disorder, the mania is more severe than it is with bipolar 2 disorder. Manic behavior are more extreme and would typically be considered as normal. The mania in bipolar 1 is so intense that when the person experiencing it, it can interfere or will interfere with their daily activities. And the person will feel energized, extremely confident and spontaneous. Whereas bipolar 2 disorder causes something we call hypomania, which is essentially a less severe form of mania. So hypomanic behavior might be considered atypical in someone who experiences it because it's not abnormal. People who experience hypomanic symptom can still function socially and professionally because again, the mania is not as extreme. But during the depressive episode, the individual may feel sad, not motivated and overwhelmed with life. For bipolar 2, not only we need to have what we call hypomania, we also have symptoms of depressive uh, episodes. Well, the symptoms, the depressive episodes include tiredness. The person feels tired and they could be irritable and they may have trouble concentrating or remembering things. They also experience a change in sleeping habit as well as eating habit. And also SI, which is suicidal ideation or thoughts. So the hypomanic episodes or the manic episodes, they carry the same symptoms. The only difference is the severity. Remember, one is highs, one is lows. So they have the same symptoms. The only difference is the intense. It's how intense it is. So the symptoms for both bipolar one and bipolar two include D for distractibility and easy frustration. Sometimes the person may start different tasks and never finish them. I for irresponsibility and erratic behavior. 
they sometimes get in trouble a lot when in when they in that phase g for grandiosity or inflated self-esteem spending grand project and not consider consequences at all f for flights of ideas their mind is racing they cannot control their thoughts a they have increased activities and also they have increased libido and they very much goal directed as for sleep pattern they have decreased need to sleep because they never feel tired they keep going and going and going t for talkativeness they talk more than usual what causes bipolar disorder scientists don't really know what causes um, bipolar disorder but they do know biological and genetic factors play a big role in that imbalance in certain brain chemical or uh, if your parent or sibling with bipolar disorder your risk of having it is high also researchers talk about severely upsetting experiences um childhood abuse or the death of a loved one may contribute to bipolar disorder how can you diagnose someone with bipolar disorder? Well, you would need a trained professional to do that because they'll be the one to know exactly the type of questions needed to ask that person in order to find out if this person has bipolar. So they also use what we call a diagnostic uh, process. Um, they review your physical examination just to rule out the uh, medical causes or medical possibility. And also they question you about your current symptoms just to see if they relate to any type of mania or depression just to rule out um, behaviors. And in some cases blood test is applied. Um, bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 disorders are more common than the other types of bipolar disorder. So, bipolar 2 is sometimes being diagnosed as depression. When there's no manic episode to suggest bipolar disorder, the depressive symptoms become the focused. Bipolar 2 disorder involve a major depressive episode lasting at least two weeks and at least one hypomanic episode. People with bipolar 2 typically don't experience manic episode intense enough to require hospitalization. Bipolar 1 consists of having one or more manic episode which consider expensive extreme high or irritable mood lasting it has to last at least one week the duration can be shorter if the individual hospitalized also significant impairment will be noted which can involve psychosis such as hallucination or delusion, but it doesn't have to. And for bipolar one, we also use what we call specifier with mixed features. The treatment choices involve combination of medication and psychotherapy. Keep in mind that medication that treats bipolar one will be different than medication that treats bipolar 2 disorder. Hopefully you learn enough about bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 in this video. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more video. 
please comment down below if you have any question or feedback and if you know someone who's going through this don't forget to refer them to this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video